Hey folks, this is Pastor Jacob, and this is week 11 or, or 12, depending on uh, am I counting it from Sundays or am I counting it during the week or whatever. I don't know. Anyways, uh, man, being a pastor is a bit of a marathon, and uh, there's a lot of things that, that end up on your plate um, from any given week to any given week. Um, and those things can tend to add up and add up and add up. And uh, and then you get offices that are messy um, because, <laughs> because you're spending all your time trying to sort things out and in the midst of, of that you're also ADD. Well, I am at least, I don't know about you, but. Um, and, and so, <sighs> life is life. Being a pastor is just as got its uh, ups and downs, just like uh, any other profession, and and it's certainly um, a lot of work for any of those people that that think that being a pastor is all just about uh, Sunday morning, um, and that that's the only time you work and whatnot. Um, it's just never um, never looked at the other side of things. There's a lot that goes into um, the proper um, preparation for Sunday morning, let alone um, planning other things and implementing other ministries and then just making sure that that everyday functions happen and happen well. Because um, otherwise you end up uh, going week after week after week after week and you've not really gone anywhere. Um, you've not really made any progress in any direction. Um, and in my opinion, uh, a Sunday morning, well, one hour on Sunday morning is, while it is one of the most transformative things uh, for people's lives um, who, who participate in a church on a regular basis, uh, Sunday morning is the pinnacle of what a church does, if that's the the totality of what a church does, if that's all um, the spiritual enrichment that a church gets, then you have to start asking difficult questions like, how are people's lives actually being transformed? Um, and so, uh, by my estimation, from where I'm sitting, that's a big task. It's a heavy responsibility. Um, to, to week in and week out uh, seek to, to grow people's relationship with Jesus in a way that transforms their life. It's a big task and I'm very excited and honored to have the pr privilege of doing it. Um, it helps on weeks when I sleep well. Uh, I had, had a little bit of allergy trouble this past week and so I haven't slept particularly well. Um, but there's always coffee uh, for weeks <laughs> when you don't sleep particularly well. Uh, I'm very thankful for a lot of things uh, this past week and not only uh, the people that have helped me pull off some some really cool things here, um, but for uh, occasions like uh, Labor Day, to, to take the day um, off, to take the day with my mind off of church things and to sit on my balcony after lunch with my two little boys while my little girl's taking a nap and just have watermelon and just watch the cars drive by on the highway. It, it was a wonderful, wonderful uh, experience and, and reprieve. Uh, last week I didn't get a video uploaded for that reason. Um, but here we are. And last week was a pretty cool week. On Thursday, I had a uh, district committee on ministry uh, referral interview. Uh, that's for the process toward commissioning in the United Methodist Church. Currently, I'm serving as a licensed local pastor, uh, which uh, is awesome. It, it uh, allows me to do uh, the sacraments and to lead the church here at Blue Mound. And, um, and, and it's, it's wonderful wonderful thing. Um, but I'm also in the process towards becoming ordained as an elder. 
uh, and there's some differences between a licensed local pastor and an elder, um, specifically that um, elders are itinerant and serve uh, at, at the discretion of the bishop and you know, a person who's kind of in the process, uh, I, I uh, yielded myself uh, to, his, to the bishop's discretion uh, this past year as well, and it led me to this wonderful place. Uh, so I'm glad to do that. Um, also, uh, an elder's authority is uh, not limited to their local setting, so uh, they can uh, preside over the sacraments um, anywhere that they are, uh, and that's a very important thing to me. Um, there's some other uh, polity differences, but uh, those are those are the big the big picture things that most people uh, can understand. Um, not that you can't understand. Uh, you're very intelligent. I'm sure you are. Uh, you just probably don't care very much about minutia. Um, also, this past week, I. Uh, had a guest preacher here at Blue Mound, <laughs> uh, John Wesley, um, well, me in costume as John Wesley, uh, delivered one of uh, his sermons from the 1700s, um, his sermon on the use of money, and this was uh, a way to kind of have a fun um, entry into our stewardship conversation uh, this fall as we begin to prepare our uh, budgets and, and things like that. It's been a number of years since there's been a stewardship campaign here at Blue Mound. Um, and, and I think that, that stewardship and giving, uh, notice I differentiate them. Stewardship is, is about a lot more than just, uh, than just what a person puts into the plate on Sunday. Uh, come, come to worship the next two weeks and you'll find out what I mean by that. Um, but stewardship and giving are very important to our faith because they indicate uh, trust, uh, trust in God. In my opinion, that's that's the that's the that's the big uh, flashing billboard of what what they mean to me uh, is they're indications of trust in God, uh, and so. Uh, delivered John Wesley's very, very long-winded sermon. You know, he's, he, he makes reference to not wasting time and uh, doing tasks as, as quickly and efficiently as possible. And he didn't take that, on, that approach with his own sermons. That they are, there, was, you know, there were entire paragraphs that I could have uh, omitted, uh, but I wanted to preach uh, word for word uh, his sermon. I changed two words. Uh, I changed one reference uh, of of God in a simple masculine pronoun to the word God, uh, and then I also uh, at one point uh, added a local reference. Um, and instead of the Bank of England, I said Sanger Bank because that's the bank uh, up the street. Uh, but other than that, it, it was his sermon, and I'll be uploading that, uh, the video of that. Um, I'm not sure how much of my camera, much of it my camera captured because it, it's a DSLR and it times out um, after too long. It's meant for short clips, like this. Uh, well, this isn't exactly short, but it's shorter than a sermon. Uh, also, uh, this coming week, I'll be uh, preaching kind of a, a feel-good rah-rah uh, sermon um, uh, on uh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me from Philippians chapter 4. Um, so I'm quite excited about that. Uh, everybody should be able to uh, walk out of the sanctuary uh, on a high note, uh, feeling great and ready to, ready to tackle the world. Um, so uh, that's really all I have um, for the moment, for this week really. Uh, got a lot of things on my plate still, as I mentioned earlier, um, but I look forward to talking to you again next week. Have a great day.